All right, hello guys. In this video, I have here a fake Ryobi battery that I bought from eBay. It was around $17, $18. I bought this to make a video. Um, I basically wanna uh, replace the cheap batteries that this battery pack has with some good ones. I have here the EVE 2 amp hour 7.2 watt hour batteries that I pulled from uh, genuine Ryobi battery pack and I just want to see if I can re uh, replace these batteries with these um, I haven't not opened this one yet so I'm gonna open it up and see what kind of batteries are in here and see the uh, build quality on this so let me go ahead and get my tools all right to open here's it up. my tool let's go ahead and open this up now I did like I said I bought this just to make this video um, to see if I can make this battery a better battery, you know, put in some good batteries in here. I'm going to be using my soldering iron and, uh, see if that works. Uh, and hopefully I don't burn my house down. Uh, I do have a fire extinguisher, but I don't know how good that would do for me since lithium ion batteries were not even get put out if they catch fire all right let's open this up there you go now the my question is will this board support the power of this these batteries I have no idea um, only uh, testing it out will tell that's hard now these batteries uh, I used for a little bit on my uh, some of my tools, and they're really hard to to uh, install and remove from the tool themselves. So here's the battery pack batteries. Um, don't know what these batteries are, but they're going. They're coming out. They're coming out. And the battery is called this T H I S S eighteen six fifty B two two R twenty twenty one seven zero two. Some cheap batteries. Look at the the build quality on this. Terrible. All right, I have removed all the batteries from the battery holder. I guess you can call that. Here they are. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install the ones I want in here. Hopefully, um, works out. I have. I need five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five. one, two, three, four, five, five. So let me look at my images to see how the batteries were installed. All right, so it looks like we have like this. So we have a, we have positive, positive, negative, positive, negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Like so, it looks like it was, that's all it was. So I connect these two together, these two together, and then this one goes to this uh, connection here. And then on the other side, I go these two together, and these two together, and then this one goes to that connection there. All right, I'm gonna begin soldering um uh, hopefully this works out um i will be using wire so not sure if that uh will work or not but i'm gonna go ahead and start doing the solder work i will be doing it off camera um because i will need to run fans and it gets loud and 
just the camera's in the way. I don't want it disturbing the area, potentially causing something to happen. But I'll be back. See if this works, okay? All right, I'm back, guys. I am finished, finally. This took longer than expected, but I am done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the results right now. Here they are. This is the battery pack. So as you can see, I soldered wire here to this one. And that one to that one. That's how it was when I originally opened it up. And then, of course, this one to that one. And then I, I believe these are balancing wires. They charge the batteries equally. <laughs> and then here you go, the other side. Now, this isn't... Not sure if this is going to work on my tools or not, but... It feels a lot more um, heavier, I guess. I don't know if batteries can be heavy the better quality they are but um, this will be the first time testing the power for the LEDs there you go alrighty it looks fully charged these batteries were fully charged when I tested them I'm gonna pull out my multimeter right now and uh, see the voltage on these here you go we're gonna go, this is positive right here. Oh, let me untangle these. Now, I don't know if soldering them with wire is a good idea, but uh, that's all I could do to hopefully make this battery pack a little better. But let's check the voltage. Here is positive, and here is a negative. Oh, sorry, other way around. This is positive. And then this is negative. So 20 volts. Fully charged. 20 volts. This is supposed to be an 18 volt battery pack. I am not sure if um, 20 volts is too much or I don't know. Is that normal or uh, it's a little high for what it is. But here I'm going to go ahead and show you every battery. This battery is 4.1 volts. This one is 4.1 volts, 4.1 volts, 4.1 volts, and 4.1 volts. So they're all around 4.1, uh, they're all 4.1 volts, but um, there you go, I have Swap the batteries. Uh, let me show you the original batteries. <laughs> I have swapped these cheap. This battery. That's what it's called. Uh, I don't know if these are any good. But I do not trust these. The drills. I don't trust these batteries on this drill at all. So I put in my own batteries. Like I said. Some of these. Uh. EVE 2 uh, two amp hour 7.2 watt hour batteries these are uh, pulled from a genuine Ryobi battery and now I have installed them here as you can see and it does show that it's uh, fully charged now I will be doing a test where I compare the this cheap battery that I just upgraded and I'll be putting it up against this uh, authentic Ryobi 18 volt 2 amp hour high performance battery now this uh, battery I have no idea what cells this battery has uh, I have tried opening it and seeing the cells but they're all like oriented in a position where it doesn't show the, the, the label or what kind of battery it is so I have no idea what batteries are in here but uh, it is a genuine Ryobi battery, so I'm assuming it's got pretty good uh, batteries in here. And this is a 2 amp hour. Uh, when I bought these, the description was 3 amp hours, which I highly doubt that was the uh, authentic 3 amp hour batteries, the ones I just took out. And now this is a 2 amp hour battery. Each battery is 2 amps. Uh, 
all I, all I, all, I, all this battery does is combine um, the power output, but it's still a two amp hour battery um, because the eight, the four amp hour battery that I got these from had eight cells. So one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, ten cells. So one on the bottom, one on the top, and they were parallel, I believe. And they were all two amp hour. So if you combine that another layer, two amp hour for two amp hours, four amp hours. That is the gist of what I know. But here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together right now and attempt to use it on uh, one of my tools. Now <sighs> I don't want to use it on my main tools just because I don't know if I can trust the soldering I did as you can see there I guess I can improve on that but it is pretty solid in there pretty solid all of them I did use flux um, some of these are sorry let me see some of these are okay uh, if you have uh, if you think this is an okay job Leave it in the comments. If you think uh, I need to improve it, let me know. And I'll uh, open it up again and uh, improve on this. Here's the other side. Now, this one was a little weird because uh, the wires did were flat. But uh, it should be fine, I assume. Like the, it looks like a solid connection. Now, I will be cleaning the flux off of these. So just a toothpick, just clean around, just so there won't be any flux. I believe that these gray wires that came with the board are balancing balancing wires. I'm not 100% sure. If you know what they are, please let me know. Uh, I just, I think that um, these charge the batteries. Uh, you know equally because this connects to these two these this one connects to these two and the other side it connects to these two and then these two and then you know but it, it, I believe that's what it is all right I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and uh, see if it works Hmm. Kind of see why they don't use wires on this. The solder is preventing the battery pack from being installed correctly. Um, let's see. How could I install this? Maybe I can remove some of the plastic off. I'm going to go ahead and try that. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I managed to fit the battery in. I removed some of the little edges that this uh, battery had. And now it fits like it normally would. Now, I will be using this drill on a old Ryobi tool. I don't trust this battery just yet. Uh, but uh, if it turns out okay... I will um, definitely be uh, updating the other two batteries as well. Um, because now they have good batteries. I don't know if the circuit board on these batteries is good or not. Hopefully they are. They can handle the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish screwing these in. Here's the level, charge level. I bought one to make this video to see if uh, it would work if I, you know, replace the cheap batteries they put in these and put some good batteries. Um, if you're, uh, if you, uh, I don't know if I recommend doing this yourself, but if you're good at handling 18650 cells and soldering, this could be a little cool uh, thing to do. Now, I don't even know if this works. I can see that the level works. 
but how will it handle on a tool? Now, I do have an old Ryobi tool that I will be testing this out. All right, this is a tool that I'll be testing this uh, battery on. It's a really old Ryobi tool when I used to have when they used to have blue tools. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't burn. The, hopefully the battery pack doesn't catch fire. Well, here goes nothing. Pull the trigger. Three, two, one. Okay. Seems to be working. Okay, so the drill smells kind of funny. The battery. No weird smell from the battery. Still four bars. Now, uh, I like I said in the beginning, I will be putting this battery up against the Ryobi 2 amp hour. Uh, wow, they look kind of similar, but this one has this little thing here. Now, the reason I bought... Um, this was I bought a I bought an inverter I don't know if you uh, I bought an inverter um, if you see my last video I bought an inverter from uh, Amazon and if uh, you know if you have an inverter a Ryobi inverter and you buy a ton of these cheap batteries you're gonna have a good time uh, outdoors with these cheap batteries that are cheap doesn't matter if the you know they start stop working or not but so far it worked all right sorry guys my camera died so I have to switch to my other phone but yeah like I said it works um, I don't know for how long I don't know if this is gonna catch fire one day when I'm using it or not but it works um, this is this was a fun uh, little video that I uh, that I made um, like I said before, uh, I will be testing this battery, putting it up against this Ryobi 2 amp hour battery to see which one uh, lasts longer or which one uh, is better. Now, I'm going to be very surprised if this wins. Well, it does have good batteries, but I have another one of these with the regular batteries it came with, these cheap ones. I'll be putting this one and this one up, to get, uh, up against each other and against a fake one with the fake batteries or cheap batteries um so look out for that video if you have any questions about this video let me know if you saw that i did anything wrong let me know leave a like a dislike subscribe if you want to watch more um weird uh, electronic videos um thank you guys for watching bye